Hey guys, Joe back at it once again with some A-level further maths topics and today we are talking about inequalities in evolving modulus, so, or moduli. Uh, in the last episode we introduced ourselves to uh, complex inequalities where uh, you had uh, an x on the denominator and you, you had to realise that negative quantities um, invalidate the, the inequality. So, uh, today we're moving on to to moduli uh, inequalities and the learning objective is to understand how to solve inequalities where moduli are involved. So here we go. Let's get into things. Uh, so last lesson we learned that multiplication by a negative value invalidates an inequality. It simply turns the, the sign the other way. Uh, we now know that the way we deal with them is to multiply out by the square of the denominators. We also need to know how to deal with inequalities that involve moduli. So think about what this inequality means. The mod of x squared minus 4x is less than or equal to 3. Well, in layman's terms, what that means is that uh, x squared minus 4x is less than 3, or the exact opposite, which is minus x squared plus 4x is less than or equal to 3. So we can only solve it by looking at both strands of possibilities. So here we go. Line down the middle of the page, if we're solving this inequality, we take two approaches. So x squared um, minus 4x is less than or equal to 3. That's the first possibility that we've got. So let's go with it. Take the 3 over the other side and you get that. That doesn't factorise. It might look like it does, but it doesn't. So we have to turn to the quadratic equation and we do that. Which turns into 2 minus root 7 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2 plus root 7. Now, let's think about the other um, aspect, which is the complete negative self. So you've got minus x squared plus 4x is less than or equal to 3. Tidying that up, you get 0 is less than or equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3, because I like me x's, x squared or leading x term to be positive, which is that. Just turn it round on itself. And that does factorise to x minus 1, x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. So therefore, x is greater than 3, and x is less than 1. And you can solve it graphically. Um, I would personally draw a little graph for these ones and see where it's above. Uh, obviously, if you've got um, this, it goes through 1 and 3. So you know that it's going to be that way and that way but once you've done a few of these you, you do get the hang of it but if you're still struggling make sure that you, you, you um, what am I trying to say make sure that you draw a little graph that's what I'm trying to say like for this one it would look like this because you've got um, 2 minus whatever on this side and you've got 2 plus on this side it, it might not work out like that it might both be this side but you can see clearly that under the um, under zero is between these two values so that's why you do that but you can uh, solve them graphically that's what I was saying before so that is what the the mod of uh, this graph looks like and we want it to be under 3 so we simply draw the line x equals 3 in and you can see there's four points of intersection and the times that it's above is past here in between here which invalidates this graph here. Obviously, it, it looks like this instead. Uh, and past here. So there you go. So we've got x is greater than 3, x is less than 1, um, and the, the two values there. Right then. Let's do another one. So split your page in half. You've got the mod of x squared minus 19 is greater than 5 brackets x minus 1. So the, the first way is x squared minus 19 is less than the expansion of the brackets. Tidying up, you end up with that, which is factorised to that. So therefore you get that, because if we draw a little graph here, we ha have it going through 7 and minus 2, and it's under the graph when it's between the two values. The other possibility is the exact opposite, which is minus x squared plus 19 is less than 5x minus 5. Tidying up, you end up with that. That doesn't, well, sorry, it does factorise. <laughs> it didn't look like it did, but we've got 8 and minus 3. 
and therefore it's that because it's going to be above the ground when if we go through these values so minus 8 and plus 3 it's above the ground from here to there well backwards and from here forwards but you could also do it graphically by plotting the two lines against each other so the mod of x squared minus 19 looks like this a little w and the the graph of 5x minus 5 looks like that and you can see there's two points of intersection and you have to work out when the the modded graph is above the uh, the line so it's above the line from this point backwards and from this point forwards so as you can see you get the same answers but under the graph of, from there ish it's it's difficult to tell from those graphs that's why i prefer doing it algebraically and, and getting these uh, little graphs here but you can solve them uh, like that and that's that's going to be that so uh hopefully you guys found this lesson helpful obviously leave a like down below if you did um and make sure you leave your, your feedback in the comments uh, and yeah that's inequalities with mods and next lesson we'll be moving on to something a little bit different called method of differences so I'll see you guys in a couple of days for that lesson